Hello my stars and welcome back to another finger painting video. Today we're going to be painting a tennis ball. These are the colors that you'll be needing. White, light green, yellow, a light blue, a pencil, some paper, a round object like a cup or a lid, and your finger. Okay, I wanted to make this super duper simple for anyone to be able to do it. So we're gonna start by just making a big round object. So I'm gonna use my lid and my pencil and I'm just gonna trace a big circle around it. And I used a green pencil because tennis balls are yellow and green, but you can use whatever color you want. I just wanted to make sure that I had a good round object. So we had all that planned and I'm going to actually just throw in the lines right now of where I'm going to put the lines. So a tennis ball, it's like you have a big U on either side or a big smile. So there's a smiley face there and we're gonna turn it upside down and we're gonna do another smiley face right here. Ooh. And there you go. So that's, that's the first step. That's the first step. So what I'm gonna do is take my white and a little bit of my blue and mix those up more white. Now, if I was doing this on another color of, my, of paper, I might actually just use plain white, but I wanted to make sure that you could see this. I'm just going to take my finger and trace this line right here, this green line that I put on. This is going to be the seam of the tennis ball. When I was little, I used to take tennis lessons because we had a court near my house and my friend's mother actually used to teach classes. I was a terrible tennis player though. I was not very good. Okay, so we're just tracing these lines. This is something that you could also use for things like baseball. They have similar shapes. So now I have my lines, my seam lines, and I'm gonna go in, clean off my finger a bit, and take the yellow and a touch of the green. We're gonna be mostly yellow, but with a little bit of green. And that is kind of the color of the tennis ball. And starting at the bottom, I'm just going to tap with my finger, I'm gonna tap the color in, making sure that it's a little bit darker at the bottom, but using this tapping motion, we're gonna get that kind, that um, fuzziness that you would see on a tennis ball. And you wanna make sure that you leave a little bit of that blue line, that white blue line, but you can cover a lot of it up. We're just going to tap that in like so and make more of your yellow green as you need to. You can go a little bit more yellow as you start getting near the top. So as you go up, feel free to be a little bit more yellow, especially if you've got this blue, this white blue paint, you might want to just use more yellow than your green because you're gonna naturally make a little bit of green covering up that blue. So we're just tapping in, and this is going to give that fuzziness of a tennis ball. I still love playing with tennis balls. They're my favorite thing to play catch with. I like to, I play catch in my backyard all the time using tennis balls. So much fun, so much fun. And you can have a little bit of variation. And this is all we're gonna do. You just go around. I find it's easier to do the center of the tennis ball first, and then we can go to the outsides. And make sure that you get, you cover up the line that you drew. And you just fill it in. Like so. What's your favorite sport to play? 
I was not very good at athletic things when I was growing up. So this is probably one of the only sports I actually played. I was much more of a dancer and a singer. I didn't actually paint too much when I was little, but I did enjoy doing crafty things and drawing and making little, what else did I do? I did a lot of sewing. What are your hobbies? I'm gonna add, give myself a little bit more yellow paint. Now you can use any type of paint. I'm using acrylic today, but you can use poster paint for this as well. You don't want to finger paint with oils, but otherwise it's pretty open to whatever you would like to use. I'm going to need to get more yellow paint. I use a lot more yellow than I thought. What's your favorite color? I think that yellows and greens are a whole lot of fun to paint with. Okay, so you're just going around. And if you get a little bit crazy and you have a little finger that goes outside of the lines, that's okay. Feel free to color outside of the lines a bit. Maybe, maybe a dog chewed your ball and it's got a little extra fuzzy going off the one side. But otherwise, I think there we have it. Yeah, I think that looks kind of like a tennis ball. What do you guys think? Ta-da! There's our tennis ball. I hope that you enjoyed painting with me today. I had a lot of fun. I think this turned out super easy and kind of cute. And until next time, sending you guys lots of love. Bye!